بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از شیزا سلیم اینڈ مائی پریزنٹیشن ٹاپک از گلوکوما اینڈ فور فار دا آکلو ڈیزی ٹاکس آکلو ڈیزی ٹاکس از اے ڈسکشن آف آل کامن آکلو ڈیز آڈرس اینڈ دا ڈیزیزز آرگنائز بائی دا ویل نون سوسائٹی آئی ہیلتھ کیئر اینڈ اٹ از دیئر لوگو آئی ایم فرام دا لمس یونیورسٹی جام شورو Yakut University Medical Hand Science, Jam Shuru. Uh, my name, I uh, described you earlier, she's a Salim and I'm a medical MBBS student. And my topic is glaucoma. Let's start. So I will start with the definition of the glaucoma. Glaucoma is a common eye condition on a group of disease in which the fluid pressure inside the eye rises to a level higher than healthy for that eye. So where the question is, what is the normal eye pressure? Normal eye pressure is the of the eyes 10 to 21 millimeter of mercury. But when it goes increase, it is unhealthy for that eye and it can damage the optic nerve and optic nerve damage can lead to the loss of vision. Loss of vision can lead to the blindness. Here, the further uh, describing it by the diagrams is a healthy optic nerve. It is the optic nerve of the eye patient eye with the glaucoma in the ophthalmoscope. So, what is the ophthalmoscope? I will describe later you in the slides. So, it leads to the loss of vision and loss of vision. Vision may lead to the in severe conditions blindness. But not necessary. All the glaucoma can lead to blindness. But uh, there are signs and symptoms which include in it. So here there are further symptoms which a patient suffer from it, which are eye pain, cataract maybe, nausea and vomiting, red eye and the morning headache. So a person, person suffering from this, maybe they have a glaucoma. For the investigation, we will carry out. So for confirmation of it, I will describe you in a later slides. So what caused the glaucoma? As I described, raised in intraocular pressure lead to optic nerve damage. And optic nerve damage can progressively uh, damage further things like loss of vision, blindness, etc. So the things which cause intraocular pressure raises can cause the glaucoma. So here we have to know how the intraocular pressure uh, rises. So for that, we have to know the normal anatomy and physiology of the eye. Normally, the aqueous humor is secreted through your eye by the ciliary bodies and it leaves your eye through the cornea and the iris. When it's, uh, the channels block uh, in the cornea and the eye, the channel system through which uh, it's drained out because homeostatic, normal homeostatic uh, pressure at 10 to 21 millimeter, which we have to maintain, uh, it can't be maintained due to blockage and obstruction so the pressure will rise so i will describe you some other causes Here they are the dilating the eye drops so when we insert in our eye dilated eye drops or the blocked oxygen drainage in your eye medications we use such as corticosteroid pure or reduced blood flow to your optic nerve it leads to optic nerve damage on the high or elevated blood pressure. So these things directly and indirectly raise your intraocular pressure or may disturb it. So and this disturbance can cause our damage to the eye and lead to the glaucoma. So now further this is the cause of the glaucoma. So I will further describe you by the normal anatomy and the physiology. Here I have another diagram. Here it is. Just wait a minute. Yeah. This is the normal eye uh, ball cut section, cross section. So here we have a lens of the eye. And uh, here is the lens of the eye. And it is a cornea and it is separating by the iris. Posterior to the iris, here we have a posterior segment filled with the vitreous humor. As you guys know, it's mostly about the normal anatomy of the eye, so it's a basic structure. And it, here is the ciliary body which secretes the aqueous humor. So behind the iris, here is the posterior chamber, and here is the anterior chamber. Posterior anterior chamber can mainly call anterior segment, and they are filled with the aqueous humor. And the posterior segment is filled with the vitreous humor. Uh, the and the close picture here. So 
So what happened when the ciliary body secretes secretes the aqueous humor? It comes out from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber and goes out because it has to be drilled out to maintain the normal homeostatic. So trabecular meshwork is a spongy tissue from where it goes to the canal of sclem and from the canal of sclem it goes in the venous drainage so that the our normal eye pressure will maintain in a normal conditions. Here another diagram, here is the posterior chamber, here is the anterior chamber, the lens is the pupil and here is the trabecular meshwork. So fluid go out from here. So the types of glaucoma. Uh, there are many types of glaucoma, but the two main kinds are open angle glaucoma and angle closure glaucoma. The open angle glaucoma is the most common type. What happened in it, in the structure of your eye, the trabecular meshwork look fine, but it may be blocked, uh, obstructed, but the angle between your iris and the cornea is normal or open so it's known as open angle glaucoma while in angle closure glaucoma is also known as acute or chronic angle closure or narrow angle glaucoma why because in it iris and the cornea become too narrow in their space so when it becomes narrow pressure build up in your eye and both conditions open angle and closed angle lead to raising intraocular pressure here's the diagram of it we have so this is the diagram for the open angle glaucoma here's the fluid from posterior chamber going outside but outside and uh, but as has to be going out for the from the drainage canal but what happened it become clogged so because of clogging of it the uh, fluid which has to be come out can't go outside and the pressure here goes increase but what happened angle here is off Pen. The main point is open angle glaucoma, angle between the iris and the cornea is open, not obstructed, neither blocked. So it is known as open angle glaucoma. While in the close angle glaucoma, here again an, a normal picture, here the fluid is going from inward to outward and going out through the trabecular meshwork. But here is the angle closed, so here is angle it should be open but it's not open it here is closed you can see there it is totally open and here it is blocked so because of blockage of this the pressure inside here the pressure here and we can see the fluid here can't go outside and the pressure here it goes on increases but the angle is closed as compared to the uh, open angle glaucoma in open angle trabecular meshwork obliterated but uh, obstructed or clogged but in the open and uh, close angle glaucoma the angle become closed so this was the difference but bo in both conditions uh, your uh, uh, intraocular pressure rises so other glaucoma types beside the open and close angle are the congenital glaucoma, secondary glaucoma and the normal tension glaucoma. Congenital glaucoma is from the birth, secondary glaucoma is due to the other uh, diseases from the other diseases leads to glaucoma and the normal tension glaucoma. I have a very few times so I can't discuss them in a detail. So I described you causes previously so now I come for the glaucoma diagnosis. So for every glaucoma, irrespective of the type, either the congenital, normal tension, EDC, the procedures are same, tonometry, gonoscopy, fundioscopy, imaging techniques, and a few other are uh, other methods are also available. So ton what is the tonometry? Tonometry is a procedure I care professional perform to determine the intraocular pressure of your eye. Here is the device. What? Uh, for next, gonoscopy. Gonoscopy, we use the gonoscope and gonoscope evaluate the internal drainage system of the eye. While the tonometry was measuring the internal pressure and while the gonoscopy evaluating the internal drainage system, system uh, or anterior chamber angle. So it is known as the gonoscopy method. Fundoscopy. Fundoscopy, fundos by a fundoscope also known as ophthalmoscope is a test that allow the professional to see inside the fundus of the eye 
so what happened from the funders you can see the retina of your eye and i as i discussed you in previous starting slides the optic nerve picture so the optic nerve damage we can see here by the ophthalmoscope so either the person is suffering from glaucoma or not so what the glaucoma treatment so the glaucoma treat treatment is with the eye drops or on medication laser surgery microsurgery this all directly directly or uh, in, uh, help into lower your eye pressure so glaucoma treatment again i have uh, further names of eye drops carbonic and hybrid eye drops which reduce the intraocular pressure and the postaglandin eye drops which also reduce the intraocular pressure and uh, other things are carbon and hydrous medicines which also do the same while don't use uh, laptop ctc stuff for too much time so that your eye can't bear the strain so for the mcqs i add some mcq so what is the main feature of glaucoma as i'm repeating again and again if you guys uh, know i hope so so uh, the uh, correct option is dies in intraocular pressure the is is the main feature of the glaucoma others are not going for the second mcq the test used to measure the angle of anterior chamber of the eye is called as i described tonometry is for the intraocular pressure and uh, a retinoscopy uh, is the method in which we optic nerve uh, while we visualizing while the gonoscope i describe you it is for the anterior chamber of the eye so the correct answer is the gonoscope so this was all about the glaucoma and jazakallah